guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl being chess and we're gonna jump right into it today i am doing a i don't know what type of look i'm doing so i'm just gonna go with the flow of the creativities of my hands and fingers and come up with something really cute i plan on doing like a date night type of look so we're gonna see what i come up with so <laughs> stay tuned so today i think I am going to just use my James Charles palette and I will let you know what guys, what guys, <laughs> I will let you guys know what colors that I'm using and applying on my eyes. I already did my brows off camera as you guys can see and I use my e.l.f. Um, instant lip brow pencil in the color deep brown. So that's what I use to uh, carve out my eyebrows and also I use my elf 16 hour camo concealer this is my first time using that concealer too and you gotta blend immediately but anywho but yes I'm gonna use my James Charles palette and we're gonna get right into the makeup look so I'm gonna take my elf concealer in the color what is this deep olive this is kind of close to the shade fawn by LA girl pro concealer it may not, to me, it looked like it's kind of close, you know, when I was looking at it in the store, but this is what I'm going to use to prime my eyes with for today. And this is how thick the wand is and the little bristles. I don't know how to get my phone to really focus, but yeah. <laughs> I did notice when I was doing my brows that this concealer kind of um, set pretty fast. So I'm just going to um, try my best and work quickly with it before it sets and dries. And now I'm just going to take my e.l.f. beauty sponge and I'm just going to uh, blend that out. is pretty cool like I said it dries pretty quickly so I have to work fast with it fast so I got the famous air spun um this is my first time using this and um usually usually I'm using my let me show you guys usually I'm using my pretty vulgar translucent powder but I just wanted something new you know to my content um, but yeah, I've seen some of my favorite beauty gurus use this or have used this in the past and some still use this, this, ooh, that's not the country. <laughs> some still use this, um, loose face powder. So I'm just going to set on my lids, just a little layer, and then we're going to get started with the shadows. Anyways, so the color that I am going to start off with into my crease for my transition shade is the color T. So I'm just going to take T and I'm just going to lightly press it into my crease or like a little bit above my crease. I just like to place it in um, like kind of like pat it on first because I have more control of where the shadow is placed. And then after that, I blend it out in um, circular motions to bring out that edge. I'm applying it, it's like whoa <laughs> I didn't expect that transition shade to be that dark but we gonna work with it we gonna, we gonna work with it y'all work with me today okay because normally I try to come 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 on here with a plan a game plan and right now I have one so so without adding any more product I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the outer edges And now I'm gonna take this color called Punch Me and I'm just gonna go right on top of, of the crease color to blend it out a little bit more seamlessly, you know? So I'm just gonna blend it, 
So I'm just going to blend the edges out with this lighter shade. I'm also using the same brush that I used to apply it in my crease. So apply the shower in a crease. Using that same brush. I cleaned it off, of course. So now I'm going to go into my outer corners of my lids and I'm just going to apply the color Benny. And can you see that? Can you see that? And I'm using the Luxie 121 Mini Taper Brush. I'm gonna go in with a light layer and I'm just going to build that outer corner. And build it up a little bit in the crease as well. So I'm only just adding the uh, Benny shade kind of like halfway into my crease. I don't want the whole crease to be as dark. I just really want the um, darker shadow or the smokiness to be more, um, you know, focused on the outer part of the uh, lid. So don't worry about the outer part or the outer corner. I'm gonna clean that up later with concealer. So now I'm applying the color Punch Me Again, the same shadow that I used earlier to blend out my um, crease color. And I'm just gonna create a fake cut crease. So now I'm going in with the color No Beans. Okay, so first I'm going to apply it right here. To the outer corner. Just to kind of blend the two colors together. So I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. I'm using a lot of, I will be using a lot of e.l.f. Um, really not a lot, but I have a new few e.l.f. products. Okay, so my eyes, so I did my liner and I feel like it came up pretty cute. I'm not the best at a wing liner, especially especially with a liquid eyeliner. And this is how the tube looks in case you guys want to get it. Um, I got this from Walmart. It was cheap, you know, Elf has some, you know, reasonable prices. And yeah, so I think I'm just gonna clean up my outer part of my eyes and then we're gonna get started with the face. So I already cleaned up the like under my um, wing liner and I'm just going to clean it up a little bit more. I used like a little makeup wipe, but I'm going to clean it up a little more and I'm going to use that same concealer that I used earlier. It's going to go right under, right under the wing here. On that outer part. So 
So time to get into the face, okay? So I have some new primer that I'm trying out today, guys, and it is by e.l.f. It is the Paulist Putty Primer, and I heard this primer was compared to the Tatcha, but I'm gonna see for myself. I don't own Tatcha, but I wanted to try the e.l.f. Um, Paulist Put Putty Primer. They have like a few different primers, but I, if I'm not mistaken, it, I think it was the poorest put. The poorest putty powder. I think this is the one everybody was comparing to Tatcha um, primer as well. This is what it looks like inside. And I'm pretty excited because, you know, like I said, I have a new primer and I wanted to show you guys some new product on my content, you know, because I use the same products every day because those are my go-tos and, you know, if it ain't, if it ain't broke, then they don't fix it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that right here, just basically here in my T-zone area. Not really a smell, it's a slight little smell, but. So now I'm just gonna blend that in. I hope I didn't overdo it because I'm super excited. <laughs> always use um right now i'm using the maybelline fit me matteless plus poreless in the color 356 and that is the warm coconut normally i use regular coconut yeah i think it is but it's 355 which is just a shade a slight lighter than this but this works pretty good too so fit me and before this i was using the fit me super stay which is the um it's also matte, but it stays like 24 hours. Anywho, let's apply the foundation. I really like this foundation, this liquid foundation. I'm just going to pour a little bit on the brush because I, I usually apply it on my, on my hand, but I don't feel like doing that today. So I'm just going to apply my foundation on like so. foundation blend so freaking good i love it i love this um eventually i want to get more high-end foundation but you know your girl you know you gotta put aside some money some coins for those high-end products but this does you know i like it so now i'm going to take my beauty sponge my elf beauty sponge and i'm just going to go in behind my um brush and I'm just going to make sure you know everything is blended you know okay primer okay primer okay primer boy if you don't get <laughs> guys so we're gonna go in with the same so we're gonna go in with the same um, concealer, which is the, ooh, it's kind of big. The same concealer, which is the e.l.f. concealer that I've been using all this whole routine. I'm just going to apply that to my under eye. And I'm gonna just do each section one by one because this concealer kind of dries pretty fast. And I don't wanna, have it all on my face and then try to blend it out and I'm looking like 
a little scarecrow on my face. So that's what I'm gonna do. So next we're gonna go in with my black radiance to light to medium. I think I'm going to buy the dark, the medium to dark, cause it's just a little bit deeper and richer. But um, for today's video, I am just going to use, you know, like inside. I like to use these two colors and kind of blend them in. Okay guys, before I move further on, I am about to set with my air spun. Um, and we're gonna see how this goes, okay? Just gonna apply like a light little layer under my eye. I'm just going to basically apply this to the areas where I complied, where I complied. Complied, what is complied? I am basically gonna apply this to the areas that I use my concealer. So now I'm going in with my uh, black radiance and I'm just going to warm my face up. A little bit. You know, you gotta warn a face back up because I need the y'all can chill a guy. You be looking like Casper. But, um, these brushes, you know, I got these brushes from like Amazon and stuff. So, I don't have any name brand brushes except for like a few like the luxie brushes that i got in my boxy charm and the other ones just like vs dash mall i got those from amazon so anywho now we're gonna take this one of these little brushes that i got from amazon and a little you know and we're just going to create our contour on our nose So now I'm gonna go back with my air spun and I'm just going to make sure the area is nice and sharp uh, on the side of my nose. As far as my contour. All right, so we're just gonna let that sit for a few and we're gonna go back we're gonna go back to the eyes. Okay, so I'm just going to prep my lashes before I put my falsies on and I'm using the Big Ego by Tarte Cas. Cas. I cannot speak today. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on in the ear. In the ear. But I'm just going to uh, my mascara on so I can apply my falsies. Okay guys, so I applied my lashes off camera, so now I'm just going to wipe my um, 
powder off where I wanted it to set on my nose. So, you know, that cost look at me, it's a little snatch like that, a little snatch room. So I'm just gonna dust away all the excess powder. So before we move on any further, I'm just gonna take my continuous setting powder, setting mist, not powder, by Morphe. I'm just going to give my face a little um, hydration. I'm gonna fan that a little bit with my hand. You know, just to put a little bit of moisture back into your skin because you know, after you're using the foundations, the matte foundations and the powder, your skin can tend to get dried out. But my skin honestly didn't feel dried out. I don't know if it's, it, if it's because of the primer that I use, but I just wanted to go ahead and set what I have already. And we're gonna go in with some more setting powder at the end. So for the lower lash, I am just going to go in with the color T. That's the first color that I started with in the um, crease area. In the crease area, so I'm just going to apply that to my lower lash just to give my eye a little bit more smokiness and a little bit more sexiness. So now I'm gonna go in with my RK by Kiss Mineral Powder. I'm just gonna set my whole face. So I'm going to set my face again using the e.l.f. Um, Makeup Mist and Set Spray. Do a little quick. This is my first time using this, so hopefully it's pretty good. So I'm going to apply this before I add in my lip. Honey. Ooh. She's hydrated, honey. She's hydrated. So now for a little bit of highlight, I'm going in with my Artist Couture um, highlight and it's in the color Purple Dream. I'm just going to add a little bit. You see how it's kind of like a, got like a little purple um, finish to it? Well, it is called Purple Dream, but just add a little bit. I don't want a lot because I don't want to take away from the look. So I have my RK by Kiss. This is all, this is also by, um, not also by, but this is also from the beauty supply store. This is the RK by Kiss Perfect Precision Lip Liner and this in the color Bloody Rose. I normally don't do red, most likely because I didn't have any red. So I just went and bought some red. I'm just going to align uh, my lips. again with the arcade by kiss and it's also a red color and it's the color tokyo or it's i guess you can find it by rls 51. so it's not a matte lipstick yeah it's not a matte lipstick just to throw it out there
So guys, this is the final look, yay! So today is love day, AKA Valentine's Day. Hopefully I'll get this video out today, maybe a little later tonight. I'm pretty sure you guys have already figured out, figured out your makeup looks, but I just wanted to do a look, you know, that you can do um, on a regular date night. You know, you and your boo, you going out to dinner, or to the movies. This is just a really cute little, simple, glam little look that you can do um, for a regular date night. It is a V day, so I was like, you know what? I was gonna do a nude lip. So since it was love day, you know, so since it was love day, I decided to just throw in a little red. Normally I do not do red lips, but I just felt like it just felt under the occasion for today you know we're gonna spread love spread self-love you know and yes so basically guys this is it this is a cute little date night look and i hope you guys enjoyed this video the lip color is a little different for your girl but she's here for it okay so don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl okay make sure you follow me that follow me make sure you guys follow me on instagram snapchat and i will have all my links down below so you guys can hit me up feel free to dm me if you have any questions about makeup or hair related questions i am here to answer you guys questions <laughs> all right guys i am signing out don't forget to stay blessed peace